What is up everybody, it's Dragonfly Todd here coming at you with a brand new video. Today guys, we're going to talk about games like I do pretty much every Monday and every Friday here on the channel. I normally go over MMOs, so if you haven't hit that subscribe button, make sure you go ahead and hip thrust that mother... That was cringy, I'm not going to put that in the video. I wanted to talk today about Dual Universe. So this is a game where you are going to explore planets. Um, it's a sandbox space mmo it has a voxel building system massive worlds and other planets to explore so you're not limited to just one planet also everything is going to be player built there's going to be industries uh, where you can build up industry and then you can actually start crafting stuff at a higher rate because the crafting does take a pretty long time depending on what your talents are just as a solo player. And talents are another thing to get into about this game. You can queue up a ton of talents and just let them sit there while you're AFK and just you'll load up a bunch of talents and learn and get skills and get better at the game that way. Um, not necessarily by learning actually how to play it, but by your player actually going into an active learning state in the game. So you're going to always want to queue up your talents whenever you do play this game too. So you can make sure that you have the upper hand. You're also going to be exploring stuff on foot, on in your ship, on your speeder bike, and just the different vehicles that they add throughout the game. And like I said, everything is player built, so you are going to build your own spaceship. It's very similar kind of to Worlds Adrift where you would actually build your own like flying airship as well. Um, but this is taking a little bit of a different approach with the voxel building system. So you're going to have to get voxels. You're going to have to mine and get money to buy voxels or, or not voxels, but they're called honeycomb in the game. You're going to have to get the money, get the honeycomb so that you can build structures like your house or your industries so that you can actually make more so you can get more money. Um, there's also other things like a fully player driven economy with markets and you can do buy and trade orders on the open market. So whatever you mine, you can actually sell it on the market. Sometimes you can do an instant buy or sell order to so where you can actually just go ahead and get rid of those right off the bat if somebody really needs it in that area. And then sometimes you have to wait and see if there's something that's going to be available at a later time and put in a buy order or a sell order for somebody who's going to come to the market and buy that particular item. There's also a fully editable world so you can actually edit the different scripts within different constructs and ships and all sorts of different things. You're going to actually pick your own hexagon. I think it's a octagon. I don't know. You're going to pick a shape on the map and it's going to be your place. You're going to own that so you can build and do whatever you want to do in that space and that's actually a lot of uh what what's going to be going on is organizations are going to be building massive civilizations and it's just going to be a really fun time i, I think is, is going to be in the future there's also going to be pvp right now i think it's limited to in space ship pvp I know the moon that you start off with, you are not able to do PvP in it at all, but in the future, there is going to be like if somebody gets onto another planet, you're going to be able to just go in there and completely destroy their stuff. So that's definitely going to be really cool. Um, I guess you're going to have to have organizations where somebody's manning the base at all times. Uh, say call somebody at like 12 in, the, 12 in the nighttime and be like, hey, yo, we're getting raided right now. Another thing, um, I just wanted to go into my final thoughts on the game. I'm also going to be playing gameplay in the background here too, so you guys can kind of see for yourself. For a beta, I think that this game really does capture everything that it promised. Not everything yet. Of course, they're still going to be working on things in the future, getting things set up and having a lot better of an experience for us there. But I really do think that I see the vision here. I think this game might be one of my new new favorite MMOs. It's still fun even right now. A lot of people saying there's no content in it, but actually you as the player are the person who's making the content. Yeah, there's graphics issues. Yeah, the server's crashing. It's a beta. It's All betas are going to do that. If you can't stomach a beta, do not get the game. Don't pay money for a game that you know you're not going to be able to play. That's just how it goes so i hope you guys did enjoy this quick overview of dual universe i've covered this game previously on the channel and really from what i saw previously and what they've accomplished to this point now i really think the game is going in a great direction it's got good funding it's got a nice player base and i really just enjoy it i think it's fun and if you guys want to play with me just let me know in the comment section if you guys have any cool organizations that i should join 
that's probably, I mean, the, one of the biggest things I need to do is join an organization because, let's be honest, I'm not going to get anywhere solo. But anyway, guys, uh, like I said previously, if you did enjoy, leave a like, drop a subscription, uh, put a comment down below. Let me know what I can do better. Let me know if you guys like this type of shit or if you guys don't want this type of stuff on the channel. Um, but, yeah, like I do cover most MMOs. So if you guys do enjoy this type of thing, maybe you want to go ahead and subscribe and just check every Monday and Friday. I'll probably have posted a video. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next one.